I'll slide over here when I'm Good morning. Good afternoon. Excuse me. I'm uh, PJ Lechleiner. I'm a Deputy Assistant Director with ICE Homeland Security Investigations. It's my honor to have you here this morning uh, to celebrate the renovation of the Forensic Lab. Before we get started, I want to recognize and thank Secretary Johnson, ICE Deputy Director Ragsdale, and HSI EAD Edge for being here and supporting the lab and its mission. Now it's my honor to invite Deputy Director Ragsdale to say a few words. Thank you all very much for coming. Mr. Secretary, thank you again for coming. Uh, we're delighted uh, after decades of, of service, the forensic lab has been expanded. Uh, we're very proud that the laboratory has been accredited by the American Society of Crime Laboratory Directors and uh, the Laboratory Accreditation Board since 2001, both for the question document and latent print sections. The laboratory supports every type of investigation and include document fraud, gang activity, drug trafficking, bulk cash smuggling, human smuggling, child exploitation, terrorism, and cybercrime. A few highlights of the newly renovated space, including a modern fingerprint processing laboratory for work for seven fingerprint analysts. Secretary, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This looks like a law school class with everyone clustered in the back for some reason. Lots of space up here if anybody would like it. We're here this afternoon at the um, Immigration and Customs Enforcement's Homeland Security Investigations Forensic Lab. I'm very proud of this lab particularly in the age of the foreign terrorist fighter. This type of capability and having a world-class capability of this type is crucial to our Homeland Security mission. Before I go any further, I do want to note again the fact that this week in Cleveland at the Republican National Convention, there are some 3,000 of our DHS personnel dedicated there to the overall security of the convention. That includes not just the Secret Service, but also 580 HSI personnel and agents under the leadership of Assistant Director Pete Edge. And so I want to compliment <clears throat> the fine work this week of HSI, the Secret Service, and the other DHS components devoted to the security of the Republican National Convention this week and the Democratic National Convention next week. I will go to Philadelphia on Friday afternoon to inspect the security of the convention site in Philadelphia, just as I did Cleveland last Friday. Now, turning to the forensic lab we have here, let me begin by acknowledging Congressman Connolly, who has just arrived. Thank you for your support of the Department of Homeland Security, and thank you for your support of this lab in particular. We're here to inaugurate the expansion of this capability, of this forensic lab from 30,000 to 40,000 square feet. This lab really goes back, dates back to 1978. It is notable for the fact that this lab did the forensic on the, the forensics on the travel documents of the 9-11 hijackers, for example. And as I said, in this age of the foreign terrorist fighter, the prospect of travel by terrorists, sponsored by terrorist organizations, it is crucial that in the Department of Homeland Security we have this type of capability. I think it is fair to say that this is a world-class lab in this new expanded mode that we have, and it is the preeminent forensics lab for analyzing travel documents that we have across the entire United States government. Here we not only identify fraudulent travel documents, we also support a number of federal and state agencies in helping them to identify vulnerabilities in their own travel documents, driver's licenses, visas, and the like. And in addition to the more traditional forensic analysis of, of fingerprints 
and, and those type of things. So with the prospect of foreign terrorist travel, with the increasing sophistication of criminal organizations, terrorist organizations, and those who would seek to engage in the creation of fraudulent documents, this lab is crucial to our Homeland Security mission. When I heard about this expanded capability of this terrific lab, I wanted to be here myself to mark the occasion for this expansion of this capability. So thanks, everybody, for being here. Again, Congressman Connolly, thank you for being here in particular. And uh, we look forward to the continued great work of ICE and HSI in this, in this field. So thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Um, and I appreciate all the esteemed guests for uh, joining us today. Um, <clears throat> at this point, we're going to now move over to our rib ribbon cutting ceremony just to my left. Uh, so if we can move over there.